to go spend on a little bike to get my workout on. Getting on it and pedaling, I'm just in that zone, and I get burning. You feel the burn? I'm listening to my tunes. It just feels good to exercise, and I just love it. All right, here's your stuff. I see Jenny probably two times a week. When Jenny first came, I thought she was in the market to purchase a piece of exercise equipment. Most customers will come in and uh, you know demo the equipment maybe two or three times before making a purchase. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it very much. Good luck this season. After six or seven visits, I realized that Jenny wasn't here to demo the equipment. My habits may be extreme to some people, but I show it off to everybody, whatever it is. It makes me happy. Bye. Tell her bye. Bye. Instead of going to gyms, I just go to these sporting goods stores for about 45 minutes a day. All right. See it. Going to a gym, paying for a membership. I mean, that's like $75 a month. It doesn't cost me a dime to work out in that sporting goods store. I've always been really cheap, and it's just kind of been something that I have always done. I just get a good feeling out of not spending a lot of money, but yet still accomplishing whatever goal I have. I absolutely hate spending money on things that I can't see the next day if it's gone. On the average, most people, they fill up their tanks once, twice a week. It can cost $60, $70 to fill up a tank. And then you go home and park your car in the garage, and you may not go nowhere. So you just spent $60 to sit. Hey, can I get $3.36 worth of gas? You sure can. When it comes to gas, gas is kind of like makeup. You know, less is more. When you buy less, you use less, and you save more. When I get gas, I only get a gallon at a time. One gallon of gas, one gallon a day, saves me money, restricts where I go. I'm hardcore about our bills that we have to pay and making them as little to nothing as possible. This is my toilet where I save money on water. Best way to save money is water displacement. Putting a brick in the back of it's gonna make the water level go up a little bit and it's not gonna use as much water. Since I've been putting bricks in it, I've noticed a huge change in our water bill. We use 350 less gallons a month. We bought the house in 2006, we paid cash for it, and we saved money by doing so. And the pool came with the house. I still keep the pool because I got three kids, and we don't go on a lot of expensive vacations, so I figure, you know, that's kind of like a vacation, just go out and get in the pool. We've tried to figure out every way possible to save money on running and keeping up this pool. One way to save money on this pool is to reduce the size of the pool just like putting a brick in a toilet. I save money. I recycle my plastic containers and I fill them up with sand. Hey, I'll take that. Yes, let me go. All Let's right. go up too. Go. jump off those freaking bales. I mean, I love them. I mean, when I get all the drugs out, I'm gonna like go in the middle of my freaking fish. This is the only pool in town which has barrels and bark containers of sand in it. Other people people usually that. don't do that. I've been cheap since I was probably a little kid. My dad had a small business, and he had to find ways to get through a lot of hard times. And he showed me how to think outside the box. Went through some hard times, and it influenced me as a child growing up to deal with how to be a problem solver. We grew up with that idea of just make it work. I'm doing my laundry in the pool because the chemicals that are in the pool are similar to the ones that are found in laundry detergents. Running the washing machine costs money. Washing clothes in the pool is weird. It makes me feel like I'm in 1912. It feels like, oh my gosh, when's Benjamin Franklin gonna come along and invent the electricity and all that? <laughs> <laughs>
very expensive to maintain this pool, and I've done a lot of research to find ways to save money on it. The cleaners and everything cost a lot of money. The average pool owner spends about $3,200 a year to maintain their pool. Instead of using regular pool cleaners to clean our pool, we use baking soda. Baking soda is the same compound as pool cleaners. It's a lot cheaper, though. Baking soda is like 40 cents a pound, and the chemicals are like $1.10 a pound. My pool skimmer broke, so I just took a pair of paint hose, stretched it over the top, and boom. There you go. Got a pool skimmer. I ain't buying a new one. A pool cover can range from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. Bubble wrap is extremely affordable. The bubble wrap covers the pool. I put it on at night, and it keeps the water in the pool heated and all the debris out of the pool. Jenny's bubble wrap pool cover reduces the rate of evaporation and saves her approximately $100 a year on her water bill. I figured out a lot of ways to save money on stuff around the house, but it's the cost of running that pool, you know, that, that really bothers me. The biggest cost of running this pool is filtering the water. I have to filter the water in my pool or else it'll get nasty. This is my problem. Each month, running this pool filter costs us an extra $200. Homes with pools use about 49% more energy than those without. I've done some research. I want to figure out a way to power this filter without paying any money. Jenny Cox manages to maintain a middle-class lifestyle on the cheap by cutting costs on everything from luxuries to necessities. To run my pool filter, it cost an extra $200 a month. I have to be able to reduce my pool expenses down to zero. What, what, what's going on here? If I could get you to just hold this exactly like it is. OK. Hang on, watch your fingers. If I build a bike generator to run my pool filter, it will cost me nothing on my power bill. This is definitely going to work, because it's going to take a lot of pedaling. Jenny's pedal power turns the belts, which rotates a car alternator. As the alternator spins, it creates an electrical current. I mean, you got to think outside the box sometimes. That's for sure. Yeah. Which Jenny hopes can provide enough power to run her pool filter. So how much is the bike? The bike is $199, $200, which is a good deal. Yeah, I just can't do it. When he told me it was $200, I just, it just hit me. I wish I could, but I can't give it away. I can't. I can't do it. It hurt. I could afford, you know, something cheaper. On to plan B. I don't pay full price for anything because it's not worth full price. Nine times out of 10, you can figure out a way to find something cheaper or, or make something cheaper. That's perfect. Okay. Straighten the alternator out. Line it up, there you go. And go slow. Just okay. keep it as tight as you can. I do not care what people think about my shopping habits or my behavior, however you want to say it. Being cheap makes me happy. So how much you want for the bike? I can't go any lower than 25 on it. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> I, I feel pretty good about it. I think I did pretty good. I get my handiness from my dad. I'm better with a tool than a makeup brush, I can tell you that much. My family actually enjoys my cheapness because they never know what I'm going to come up with, and they enjoy seeing all my little projects and everything.
All right, turn it on. No good. It's gonna work, son. Don't worry, it's gonna work. Turn it on. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Bite generator worked out perfect. It took me a couple of times to get it to, to go, but after about 15 minutes, Finally got it to work. That sound you hear is the sound of money. It's like change dropping in my purse. Change, saving me some money. Cha ching. That's all I hear. Cha ching. This worked out great. Now I gotta figure out a way to power the whole house.